Hey guys, James Osment. Uh, as you guys know, I'm about out of locks to pick, so <clears throat> kind of bored. And I thought I'd show you guys a little something. Uh, I'm not gonna finish this, but uh, I'm just gonna show you uh, real quickly how I do this. Uh, a lot of you guys buy uh, lock picks, and you know we we spend money on picks, and they're not exactly cheap. Uh, especially when you bend them and break them and you're always replacing them and buying large sets and whatnot. But uh, even the best manufactured picks are not perfect. They do have flaws on them. And, uh, you know, it really does help to have a real nice edge to your picks. And uh, when you polish the edge of your picks, it, it seems to feel like glass when you're picking it. It's just real smooth. Uh, you know, the picks don't seem to hang up as much. They're not sharp. They don't catch on everything. And it's just, it, it really makes for a better feel and better picking. And uh, it, it does less damage to the lock when you don't have those sharp edges on there. Well, I'm going to show you, I, I see a lot of people in videos, they have these real complicated ways of doing things. You know, they use sandpaper and, you know, buffers and all this, you know, equipment. I'm going to show you guys the cheap, easy way to polish your picks. And uh, what I do, go to Walmart or to your, wherever you buy beauty supplies. And uh, I just steal the old ones from my girlfriend and my nieces and whatnot. <laughs> I get all their old pads. But just a finger, a Revlon fingernail pad. And it's uh, like a medium coarse and a fine. And then what I have here is a nail polisher. And uh, the nail polisher has a four-part system. This one's old. It's been used quite a bit. I've polished many, many, many picks with it. I even polished gun parts with this. Uh, sears, uh, triggers, and whatnot. But uh, it has the number one, which is a little rougher. It's smoother than the smooth side of this, but it's a little rougher. Then two, it gets progressively smoother. Three and four for shine. And so what I, what I start off doing is I'll just take this put it on the edge of my dresser here it's just an old dresser and a spare bedroom we got and find the okay that's the rough side and what I'll do I usually just start and just start rubbing now on these 15 thousandths you have to be extra careful uh, don't get in a big hurry because you can bend these picks I mean you can bend this thing way over it's very delicate and you just start rubbing Keep your finger on it so it doesn't bend it, and that way it makes full contact. And then I'll go to the other side and do the same. I really hope y'all are getting that in frame and I'm not shaking the camera too bad. Uh, might make y'all dizzy, make you up chuck your eggnog. <laughs> Alright, and so you start off and you'll notice it starts getting a little smoother and smoother. And what I'll do, I'll take the edge of the pick this way and just set it flat on top and start rubbing just like that and it doesn't take much because that is a little bit rougher and I'll do the same on the other side then I hit hit the tip and as this I don't know if you guys can see that but that's padded so when you press the pick into it it has a little bit of give and as you as you work that edge on there it actually rounds it off so there's no need to tilt the pick this way or that way to get a nice rounded off edge uh, all you got to do is put it straight on like this, 90 degrees upright, and rub it. And that thing will round that edge just perfect. I mean, a beautifully controlled edge on these. Then you flip it to the little bit smoother side, and then I'll do the same process. I'll just rub it, tilt it up, get the tip of that hook, and just rub it. And I'll do the same for the flat sides rub it okay enough of that I'm not like I said I don't want the video to be too long and what I do is I come over here to number one I'm kosher boy I don't mind getting dirty so I just wipe it on my blue jeans uh, I have a washing machine I can wash them and you go to number one and this is nice and soft and foamy so it flexes and you just take your pick and do the same thing of course if I had a new one it would work a little better Hopefully you'll go out and get you a new one and it'll work better and you just do this, you know, repeat the process and you just move to number two and continue to work that thing in. If you put your finger on it, it helps because it puts a little more pressure and 
it uh, polishes it a little more evenly and nicer. And what I like about the, the give of the foamy ones, it'll actually hit in that curve of that hook. And with this, you could actually do, um, you could do bogotas and, you know, worm rakes and your city rakes and whatnot because it's, it's flexible. It has give. And even if you're going straight back like this, it still has enough give. It flexes into those grooves and it will actually give you a nice little polished edge. <laughs> Uh, my sparrows, all the edges were rounded, but it seemed that stainless seemed to have uh, maybe like a patina on it. And I just used it, I just buffed it off real quick to get that patina off and get that stainless steel shining. And, uh, you know, just make the picks look good. Hell, they serve us, why not do something for them? Make them look good. Uh, take care of your tools, you know. Take care of your tools, they'll take care of you. And, uh, like I said, I'm going to try to keep this short and sweet, but... As you can see, I mean, it does make a big, well, I can't even tell if I'm in frame. It does make a big difference uh, when you polish your picks. I forgot to turn the light on in here, so it's going to be hard for you to tell. But it does make a difference, and all it is, just cheap fingernail files, man. Just This was, uh, I think, like $1.87 for two from Walmart. They had other ones cheaper, but I figured I'd go Revlon. It, it would have to be better, right? Got the more expensive brand. And in this, I have no clue what they cost. I found this clean in my mom's garage. She let me have it. <laughs> you know, I always, always find uses for just about everything, man. One man's trash, another man's treasure. But there you go, just fingernail files. And uh, they work great to polish picks. Also, if you're like me and you like to make your own tension tools, uh, you can see here I have a pair of scissors, nice and thick. They're probably about... 55 to 60 thousandths. They work good in these thick uh, keyways like Medicos and whatnot. And uh, sometimes you get challenge locks. Other people have used heavy tension on and, and, the, and the, the keyways a little ate up. These thicker ones tend to grab a little better. And uh, I use these as well for cleaning up the grinded and filed off edges on these. And it works great. I mean, it you know, it, it really polishes them up pretty nice. So uh, you know, basically just a pair of scissors. You can see here I got my, my template laid out and later on I'm going to grind these out and file them down and make some tension tools out of them. But all right, uh, just a pair of scissors. Found. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope this uh, tip helps you guys out, man. Y'all have a good day. Stay safe. Stay legal.